Rick and Julene Thorburn portrayed themselves as the perfect foster parents, a happily married couple with two talented sons. But behind closed doors, this family was as evil as could be, as 12-year-old Tiali Palmer tragically found out. Ten months after she was unwittingly placed in the Thorburns' care in 2015, one of the sons sexually abused her. But it's what happened when the abuse was discovered that's truly horrific. To protect his boy from punishment, Rick Thorburn murdered Tiali. Then the entire family callously concocted a story to try to hide their crimes from police. They failed. And tonight, for the first time, we reveal what really went on in their house of horrors. I try to remain positive and think about the good times and, and the smile on her face or her dancing as opposed to thinking of the situation, which has put bad thoughts and bad images in my head. There are images and thoughts that no parent should have to ever consider. No, never. This lonely and isolated riverbank is a place Cindy Palmer will always have an undeniable connection with, a connection she wishes she never had. It was here on the 5th of November 2015 that the body of her 12-year-old daughter, Tiali, was found. The little girl, also known as Tia, had been murdered. Is there any way to describe that moment? the pain of that moment? You know, I fell to the ground crying because... I guess, obviously, it was my daughter and, and she was found washed up on a river. Like, what kind of animal leaves a little girl in a river? But the pain I felt was so bad, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything but cry. This is the wretched man who first killed, then abandoned the child he promised to protect. Do you know the area where T was hanging? No, no, no. Have no. you ever visited that area? No, no, I didn't know anything about it. No, that's fine. Right from the start, Rick Thorburn was a heartless liar. And right from the start, his family did everything they could to keep his evil secret. His callous wife, Julene. It's so more about protecting us, our family, our yeah. lifestyle and yeah. our upstanding in the community. And their sons, 18-year-old Trent, who had sexually abused his foster sister, and 19-year-old Josh. Now we had to keep it all a secret. We, we had to pretend like we didn't know anything mm -hmm. and, yeah, pretend all part of the reprehensible conspiracy to save themselves. His exact words by Tia is no longer with us. He said, I hope you understand what that means. I knew what he meant, that he'd killed her. What we had to do is, 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 is break that family bond. And the covert police surveillance that revealed the Thorburn cover-up. What really went on behind closed doors? To the outside world, it's just a normal rural property, but uh, the reality is it's a house of horrors, what, what occurred here. At just 12, Tiali Palmer had already experienced much torment. By the time she was seven, she was living in foster care because, as Cindy admits, she couldn't always provide her children with the happiest or safest of homes. How was it that Tiali was in foster care? How did that eventuate? Um, well, it wasn't... Basically, I put her there. And why was that? Um, because I was suffering through a very severe domestic violence situation. 
So I actually went to the department for help because, you know, I realised that one day I was just going to die and then they were just going to be left there by themselves. For the next four years, Tiali remained in foster care, but instead of fighting for her return, Cindy was on a path of self-destruction. At first, I was so devastated being apart from her that I spiralled out of control into drugs and homelessness. Cindy accepts and that at that time, that Tiali was better off without her. I do. I still firmly believe that the day that I went to the department asking for help, I made the right decision. It's not what I wanted and it wasn't the outcome any of us wanted. But at the end of the day, that was, I thought, was the safer option. It was a broken little girl who arrived on the doorstep of Rick Thorburn and his wife, Jolene, in January 2015. The couple and their two teenage sons, Trent and Josh, both talented dancers, lived on an isolated, semi-rural property in Chambers Flat, south of Brisbane. The Thorburns were considered the poster family for foster care, but Cindy had misgivings from the start, including that Tiali would be living with teenage boys. No. Straight away I said no. Did you see any evidence in those early days to, to make you feel that you were justified in your concerns? The first ever time that I met Rick, the first words that came out of his mouth were about how he was in a gang when he was younger and he was running guns and prostitutes and, and he was proud of this. Did you believe him? Did you think he was telling you the truth? Whether it was true or not, it was inappropriate. The truth is that Rick Thorburn was a monster hiding in plain sight. To the outside world, he was a likeable, easygoing bloke, a former truck driver with a love of classic cars. But in private, he was a controlling figure, feared by his family, including Tiali. And Cindy believes there was more. There was a time when her behaviour had changed towards Rick. She didn't want to be left alone with him, and she started misbehaving, she was running away. She didn't want any bar of Rick. And it wasn't just that, it was the inappropriate clothes that she all of a sudden started wearing and dresses that had padded bras in them. Um, he'd taken her to get her eyebrows waxed and, you know, things like that. And she never said anything to you about it though? She never got a chance. Coming up. Tiali disappears. When police hear that a 12-year-old girl has gone missing... You prepare for the worst. And an elaborate family cover-up to throw off police. At the funeral, Rick Thorburn carried your daughter's casket. I just... I think it's disgusting. That's next on 60 Minutes.